Hi guys, it's Kate here for the 25 Bookish Facts About Me tag. And this is one that's been going around booktube that every time I saw it, I said, that is fun. I really want to do it. And then the lovely Kristen from Vienna Waits Books tagged me. So I am really looking forward to doing this. One. My favorite childhood book was Fortunately Unfortunately, and this is a book where a series of things happens to a little boy, like it says, I uh, went skydiving, and unfortunately my parachute broke, and then it will change to a fortunately, I landed in a haystack, and then unfortunately there was a pitchfork in the haystack. So it just had this certain rhythm to it, and it just always struck me as funny to see these things that you think are happening that are good and then all of a sudden it takes a turn for the worse. So, so if you have read that book, please let me know because it was one of my favorite books as a kid. Two, I absolutely adore using the library and there is a lot of book buying that happens with people on booktube, but for me, most of the new books that I read are going to be from the library. I don't really, I have, you know, limited spending money that I can use on books, so I don't really like to buy all that many books before reading them, unless they're classics. I'll buy them without reading them if they're classics or if the library doesn't have it. Um, for things like modern classics, but then again, those are still classics, so I don't really mind uh, taking a risk on a classic that I haven't read yet. And I just use the library for so many things. I check out DVDs, I do audiobooks, and I just think it's a wonderful resource. And so I do like to buy books. I like to buy books that I really like, but I like them to kind of be my hall of fame. And so I just love using the library. Three. Mysteries are my favorite genre. I used to say that classics were, but I find that uh, I just read so many mysteries in a year, and so now I've kind of come to terms with the fact that mysteries are, in fact, my favorite genre, followed closely by cl classics. And so I just love a good whodunit. I've done a whole video on all the reasons that everyone should read mysteries, and I will link that down below if you are new to my channel and would be interested in seeing that. Four. One of my very favorite authors is Jane Austen, but I actually did not know about her until the 2005 Pride and Prejudice film came out, and I went to see it in the theaters, and when I did, I was absolutely smitten from the get-go, and so there are some Austen fans that really scorn that version of the film, but that's what got me into Jane Austen and made me read all of her books, so I personally am really appreciative of that movie, and I do think it's a really beautiful production overall, and so I'm glad that that was the catalyst to get me to find out about an author that would mean so much to me. Five, I cannot pick a favorite Jane Austen. It's whichever one that I just read. So I think that when I'm in a light and happy mood and I want something humor like reading Emma or Pride and Prejudice, but then if I'm in a cozy, rainy day, romantic mood, I will pick Sense and Sensibility or Persuasion. I have trouble liking weird books, and when I say weird, I mean books that to me just seem strange just simply for the sake of being strange, and I can't see the point in the strangeness, and two that come to mind are The Wizard of Oz, which I do love the movie, but the book is a lot weirder, uh, The Book of Mary Poppins, and... Alice in Wonderland. So those are three books that I know they're classics. I know there's lots of merits to them and they're well written and they've stood the test of time, but for my personal taste, I just don't really like them. Seven. I said earlier that I love Jane Austen and I love Jane Austen so much that when my husband and I got married on our honeymoon, I read Pride and Prejudice aloud to him and he ended up absolutely loving Jane Austen and he loves Jane Austen almost as much as I do. Eight. My hot drink of choice when I am reading is either coffee with a little bit of sugar and some half and half or Earl Grey with half and half and one sugar cube. Nine. I absolutely love audiobooks. I have done a couple videos on how much I love audiobooks and all of the memories and the richer experiences I feel that they give to reading. And one of the types of audiobooks that I especially enjoy are mysteries because usually the people who narrate them have a really good dramatic voice for mysteries and preferably I like them to have a British accent. 10. I adore, as do most people on booktube, Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter so much that for my 26th birthday two years ago, I had a Harry Potter birthday party where I invited two other couples over and we had a happy birthday Harry uh, birthday cake and spelled it like Hagrid does in the movie, not in the books though. 
I had a Honeydukes station where I had made chocolate frogs with molds, and I had bought some Bernie Bot's Every Flavor Beans, and I also made a couple other sweets that are sold on the Hogwarts Express. And I also bought a Harry Potter Lego game and we played Harry Potter Seen It, and I also got a Harry Potter trivia book, and I played the soundtracks during the birthday party, and we had French onion soup, which is what Creature makes for Harry, Hermione, and Ron in the seventh book, and we had Yorkshire pudding and roast beef, which is a very, like, Hogwarts type meal. And my friend brought some butterbeer for us all to have. And it was such a fun birthday party and I'm so glad I did it. And I also decorated our house to look like the Gryffindor common room because Gryffindor is my favorite house and so I put up uh, maroon and gold decorations up everywhere and it was a lot of fun. I go to the beach for vacation every year and every year when I go I love to read a Ruth Rendell mystery. I've done this for the past eight years except last year I broke the mold and I tried reading a different kind of book. It was a fantasy book and I ended up hating it and then I was really bummed out that I hadn't just picked the Ruth Rendell mystery and I love reading a Ruth Rendell mystery because she's my favorite mystery author but also just a mystery in general because I'm always able to finish it by the end of the week, no matter how busy the week, if I just put in a little time each day. Twelve. I love used bookstores. I know a lot of people on BookTube really like pretty books, and I like pretty books if I have the money for them. I can get one really nice pretty book, or I can get five used books that I would really enjoy, then I'll pick the used books every time. 13. I love playing Book Mash. So if you don't know the game Mash, that is the friend to all elementary school girls everywhere. It's a game where you are going to figure out your future with uh, Mash stands for mansion, apartment, shack, house, and then you pick maybe how many kids you think you would have, you pick who you want to marry, you pick where you want to live, or maybe what your job would be, but I love doing the book versions of this, and so I'll pick the different uh, male leads of who I would marry. I'll pick the different places that they live and then maybe a job. So I like doing that with Jane Austen. I like doing that with Harry Potter. I like doing that with Lord of the Rings. I just think it's a fun thing to do when you're bored, but you're hanging out with other people who like books too. It's something I like to do. 14. If I could be in any movie scene out of any movie, I would be in the library scene in Beauty and the Beast when he brings her to the library and she is so overwhelmed and it's holding thousands upon thousands of books. That is a scene I would love to be in. 15. I absolutely adore listening to movie soundtracks while I'm reading. I feel like a lot of times it helps me focus. I don't listen to music with words because that distracts me, but movie soundtracks really does help me zone in and focus and make some good progress on a book that I've been wanting to read. And my favorite, favorite soundtrack is Pride and Prejudice, the 2005 one. I think it's just the right amount of heavy emotion in it, but still calming enough that it's not distracting. 16. I love being nosy about other people's books. So whenever I visit someone's house, I always, always scan their bookshelves to see what they have. And people usually are really okay with that because if they have books on their shelves, they're usually people who love books and want other people to notice what they have. 17. A random job I would absolutely love to have is to write book titles of fake books for movie sets. This is an actual job. I would love to have that job. Teen. I will never like Jack London. I have read White Fang and Call of the Wild, and I couldn't stand either of them. 19. My ideal reading scenario these days is a rainy, chilly day, and I wear a cozy sweater, and I go out, my mom babysits, and I go to a coffee shop somewhere, and I get all cozied up with a nice drink, and I read the day away. 20. If we end up having a forever home that has the space for it, I would absolutely love to have this book nook taken out of a walk-in closet. Uh, it would take, you know, some work and some money, but if that was a possibility, it would just make all of my dreams come true. 21. 
I talked earlier about how I liked the library a lot, and whenever I visit a new city or I move to a new place, within the first couple days that I'm there, I go and visit the library. And I actually put that as one of the first things on my husband and my on our agenda when we visited Seattle, Washington, and we visited the main Seattle library. And it was one of the most fun things that we did. And there are chartreuse escalators in this library, and it was just a really spectacular library, and I was so glad that we made a priority of seeing that. 22. There are only five books that have made me cry. Harry Potter's Five and Seven, Little Women, Atonement, and Persuasion by Jane Austen. 23. I have only seen my birthday in one book. My birthday is very easy to remember because it's all the same number. It's 8888 and it rhymes with my name. I have only seen August 8th in one book and that was a Ruth Rendell. So all the more reason for me to like her. Although I don't really think a murder mystery is something I would want to see my birthday in. But it still was cool to me when I saw it. 24. One of the traditions I would like to start in my family is celebrating fictional characters' birthdays. So I did have a Harry Potter birthday party, but my husband talked me out of doing a birthday party for Harry Potter on July 31st. That's something I'd still like to do in the future. And another character I would love to celebrate is Betsy from the Betsy Tasty books, and her birthday is April 25th. So there's still time this year if I wanted to have a little birthday celebration for the lovely Betsy. 25 is that I love having different literary wall art up in my house. And so I have packed away in storage when I when we move. Hopefully I could get it out to show you guys. But a couple years ago I photocopied illustrations from some of my favorite books, framed them, and put them up in the room where our bookshelves were. And it just made the room feel so bookish and I absolutely loved it. And then I also would love to do some bookish cross stitches. And I have one completed. And this says, there is nothing like staying at home for real comfort, J. Austen. And this is a quote actually from Jane Austen's Emma. So I would love to frame this and put it up when we move into a house. And I just think it would make the place seem all the more cozy and really fun. And for any Jane Austen fans that come in the house, it will stand out to them and they'll appreciate it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tag. I would love to tag Stephanie from That's What She Read. Kate from The Novel Nomad, and Emma from A Bookish Princess. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you for another video soon.